Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and look at that view. But we're in a bit of a hurry because uh, in the previous episode we found out that both, uh, well, all three of the victims, the murder victims, knew each other and were in some kind of squad, I think, uh, previously. And Milton, Peyron the Peroc, the guy that uh, brought us to Toussaint, well, one of the two guys that brought us to Toussaint, uh, knew those people too, and therefore we uh, assume that he's gonna be the next murder victim. So, let's follow the Duchess in her uh, undergarments uh, to find Milton. Because Milton is now dressed as a hare, apparently, because there's some kind of tradition here that people are looking for someone dressed as a hare in some sort of game in the garden. And this looks like... Wow. Look at that. On second thought, through here. Okay. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. Okay, cover more ground seems like a you good plan. You will get plan. hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Well, I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. The unicorn horn and the golden fish. Uh, unicorn horn? The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Seriously, a real yeah, unicorn? Over there. Uh, over there. Okay. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Well, it is a real unicorn, okay. apparently. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Okay, sounds like a plan. The Colton fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Okay, so suddenly the fire's turned on. Don't know why that was, but uh, I had a phone call, that's why uh, I had to cut there. But hey. Let's see if we can't find that unicorn. I don't know why the unicorn is between parentheses, but I don't know. It was a, it looked like a real unicorn, but maybe it's just a white horse that uh, had its horn bound. It looks like we need to go over here. Ah, there we go. Can we just take it or use Axie? Fancy. Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We so yeah, it's bound to its head. This predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Do you really wish to have this conversation again, here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We should try the sweets. Hey, folks, gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Hello, horsey, horsey, horsey. <laughs> Hello. Take it easy, buddy. Well, this is actually really funny, because Yennefer and Geralt used to have sex on a, a stuffed unicorn. There he goes. So now we have to have to uh, find the treat for the unicorn. Okay, then. And that woman is floating. Uh, treat. Is that a treat? Think unicorns. Rainbows, little girls, sweets, maybe. Okay. Thief! How dare he! Scandalous! No, 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 no. I, uh, I just want to use the kick. I can't really walk now. For some reason, I'm slow walking. What the fuck? Can I put that away for a second? Wait. Damn it. Ah, okay, I need to approach with the cake in hand. Nope, there it goes again. God damn it. I have a cookie for you. Doesn't have a sweet tooth. No, okay, so it doesn't care about the cookie. So let's just try and find something else. Oh, carrots, of course. It's just the same horse. <laughs> okay, so the horse is back down again, so I'm gonna take out the bucket of carrots. What would you say to a delicious crunchy carrot? I think it's interested. Hello. Huh. 
Okay. Easy. There we go. Part one completed. Clue from the horn of a unicorn. Gardens oh. are huge. Be better off on horseback. So we leave the. <laughs> okay. So we leave the horn on the horse, but we just took the ribbon off because that contained the clue. Look at that, we're riding a unicorn. Well, not a real one, but... We need to go down, so I'm supposing this is the way. Okay. A golden fish! Isn't that extremely heavy, a golden fish? Uh, that's a normal fish. Oh, there it is. A golden fish in the water. It's pretty shiny. And a key. That's an outrage. Bad form, sir. What do you think? Do what exactly? Am I to jump in the water? Lodge an official protest. <laughs> Lodge an official protest. Okay, then. Well then, let's see if we can't meet with the Duchess and assemble the clues that we've uh, gathered to learn where Milton is hiding. Because we have a clue and then a key. Probably the key opens where he's hiding. But we probably need more than one clue to figure out where he is. So, Anna Henrietta, did you find your uh, piece? I actually forgot what that piece was. Yeah, the egg. The egg. It was a, an egg. If you please, your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. Seriously? I am the rules. She's the Duchess. Are you gonna complain about that? Maybe you should have explained her. Last. Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Okay, and it's on the floor. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Uh... Yeah. And the palace pantry? Mice and cheese. Palace pantry, maybe? No. The hare is obliged to hide here in the gardens. Ah. Look, if we take room, hollow it out and fill it with ease. The letters, that is. Ah, green. green. Then mouse, but starting with what heads heart cheese. Greenhouse. Right, greenhouse. Yeah. Pretty clever. And it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it looks just like the one we found. I found. Let's go. I found the key. You didn't find the key. Find the key. I did. So I want to find... Milton. Oh, that. Her face looked uh, hilarious over there. Oh, she's not pleased with that. She's still looking rather feisty. Okay, Geralt. Is he dead already? Oh, God. That was a man. Wow. Okay. Is that the guy from Prototype? Because he looks like him. What was that? Oh, that's cheating. Oh, that's that's Pirates of the Caribbean right, right there. He's still running. So we finally got a look at our creature. Kind of looked like a man, but with huge claws. And we still have something on our sword. Don't really know what oil that is. Is there a covenant of vampires I in Toussaint? Okay, indeed you Does are. Belong to you, maybe. It did. 
But you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Um... None? I don't kill innocents. Murderers, though, you bet. I'll soon be done. I've put one left. And you, should you not stand down? And once you're done, intend to leave? Go kill somewhere else? It sounds like he's on a revenge no. mission. I intend to live happily ever after. Okay. <laughs> Seriously? So he's a very high vampire. The beast of Beauclair. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for vampire oil. Because that seems like the proper solution here. The Beast of Beauclair. Okay, so he doesn't like fire. Or is he a male Brookson? Jesus Christ! So that was a critical. Shit, what's he doing? So Igni is really working here, but I do need to be careful not to get hit. Keep dodging, this seems to work. Blast them with Igni in between. You can't heal, bitch. There he goes. But the question is, is he gonna die? Behind you. Above you. Every way. What you the? Want to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. What the hell? No, he's my friend. We are. S 
Seriously, what is going on? Well, the blood part is uh, fulfilled. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Now I'd like some no, some uh, some wine. I, you are Regis? Right. Seriously? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages. Before. Awesome! At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak four, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. Wow. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. I think no, he no, never... Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my heart. Yeah, okay, so he's only, he's only present in the books. He's a vampire. Uh, a very friendly vampire, and one that helped Geralt out through most of the books, actually. Um, Geralt never really trusted him until, well, right at the end. But this is actually really cool. So his name is Regis, but he has a, a pretty long real name. I'm gonna spare you from that. He's always been a Gwent card in this game, I know that. Might show you that in a second as well, but... This is cool. Um, how do you regenerate? Well, we kind of know that, because, because he's a vampire. A really, really powerful vampire. So what brings you back? You being here. Not some fortunate coincidence, I take it. Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? Detlaf. call it that? Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. They did a really good He's job personifying him. Here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Okay then. So, uh, what good reasons could he possibly have? Because we know that the squad he's hunting probably did something wrong, because Milton is, well, alluded to uh, something like that. So yeah, what good reasons could he have? So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. I'm still baffled that they uh, brought Regis into the game. That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Okay. So Detlaf is actually trying to hunt bad people, but... Why is the squad bad? Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. I'm more than that. that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine, which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent, one they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, 
He prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Well, clearly. Um, do you have any idea what could have angered him? Anything specific? What those men did? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Yeah, because he kind of ran off. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Yes, and indeed. Tiny. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast. Am I right? All in all, sure. Probably, if we can explain him. that. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right. Well, he already. looked apart. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery? Seriously? Because there's a cemetery in Paris that's called Père Lachaise. So, uh, that's another reference to that, I assume. So he's blue smoke. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray. Where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem! <clears throat> Sirs! We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Yeah, thanks, Palmerin. So that was really cool, because his design... Um, Regis' design is also really nicely done, because in the game... Uh, in the game, in the book... They uh, introduce him as an alchemist living at the cemetery, uh, which is, of course, really Emil Regis Rohalak, Terzif, and something else. Uh, I'm going to show you that Gwent card, actually. So, Gwent deck. Because this card never actually showed his human form, because here he is. Emil Regis Rohalak Terzif. And he's just a vampire in the card, uh, as you can see right here. So, he's just a vampire, which is kind of sad. And uh, his quote is, Men, the polite ones at least, would call me a monster. A blood-drinking freak. But uh, he's clearly not, as we have seen. Because he's actually a really, really nice guy. And, uh, well, they kind of changed the, uh, the grunt music there as well. Uh, let's see, we got two ability points, so let's check out that first. Or maybe we didn't, and it's just the one... No, no, we have two ability points available. So I'm going to improve my uh, dodging immunity while I'm still not using that. There we go. Um, I'm going to have to wait for the rest. Uh, I'm not going to equip it just yet, so let's take a look around. Oh, we don't even need to look, take a look around because we kind of know what went on here. Uh, so we need to meet Regis at Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery. I'm going to head there. And uh, see what all that is about. So see you guys there in a second. Uh, if I weren't just a lowly guardsman. Sir, sir. Okay, never mind. Say, we got a letter first. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver. So that's it. probably what the game was talking about when we started Blood and Wine, to uh, get that Arch Grandmaster gear, and the uh, stamp says postage paid to get lost. Here, your tip. Come on. Yeah. We have plenty of money. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. And there was also something about mutations, if I remember correctly. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. Yennefer. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau. A scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, 
His journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Thanks, Yennefer. Mm, a professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. And that is indeed very interesting. Turn and face the strange. And we also, the new quest is actually called La Cage au Fou. Which is, I think, if my French is pretty okay, is the Cage of the Mad. But I could be wrong. Look at this place. I'm not even going to cut this out. Look at this place. It kind of reminds me, even with the music a bit, of the, the depiction of Venice in uh, Assassin's Creed 2 during the festival. This looks amazing. It's already a lot more full of life than uh, even Novigrad nice was. Nice tune, yes indeed. Uh, we also have this blacksmith over here, and I think there was, yeah. Look, there's a uh, an exclamation mark in the garden over there. And I wonder if I can actually go through here. Can I go inside? Oh yeah, here we go. I'm going to check this out as well. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Vineyard owner. Master Vineyard. Richard, what luck to happen upon you. Got Who are you? Me. New contract. Of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What and kind suddenly, of fancy music. A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Free money? Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Paper Chase. Gotta stop by that bank. Yes, indeed. So that's another quest we uh, picked up. Uh, I might want to quickly head in here. Maybe that armorer can tell us a bit more about the uh, Grandmaster gear. The best armor around. That is what I forge. Okay. Um, show me your wares. Mm, what have you got there? Maybe the diagrams are in his inventory? And otherwise it might just uh, head out again. Doesn't look like there's much. There's a lot of fancy stuff for, uh, for Roach. Look at that. Saddle of the Five Chivalric Virtues. Cool. Can I even compare that to something? Yeah. So it's 25 higher than the one I'm using. Which is actually cool, I'm gonna buy that. The same with the fear blinders then? No, the fear blinders are the same. Both 60, but they look a lot more awesome. Uh, is this higher? Yeah, alright, new saddlebacks as well. Let's take that as well, and then the rest is just armor repair kits. Yeah, okay. There doesn't seem to be... Uh, well, there is more... Oh, look at that. New crafting components. But hey, let's head out and uh, we'll see if we can equip so that. I don't think Roach is anywhere nearby, but uh, at least we can uh, deck him out a bit. So, to inventory and then Roach. Let's equip that. The Beauclair saddlebags and whatever is this? The Goliath trophy. Ah, oh, okay. Fancy. 
I'm gonna keep the uh, the wooden pig thingy from uh, Hearts of Stone. Okay, but with that, I'm gonna take a little break. Next time, we're gonna head to uh, Regis, I think. We're gonna do that first. So thank you guys, obviously, for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, and obviously, for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye. Okay,